Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of your Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for Fear of the Walking Dead. We're going to do another Q&A video leading up to the mid-season finale for Fear of the Walking Dead, Season 7, Episode 8, titled Padre. And we're going to be talking about, because obviously Fear in Season 8 is going to be moving to Georgia for filming, the big question is now, will we see some sort of traveling season in Season 8 and a potential crossover with the final season of The Walking Dead? No, no! There's a reason I asked White and Sherry to find you. Go to work. Now! Okay, guys, this is going to be doing another video for today. This one's going to be doing another video for Fear the Walking Dead. This one's going to be doing another Q&A video leading up to Fear the Walking Dead, Season 7, Episode 8, the mid-season finale. So, continuing on with the Fear the Walking Dead Q&As, we're going to do a few more, obviously, because this is the final week of Q&As for Fear the Walking Dead. So, we're going to do this one, and then probably in another day or two, we'll probably do like one, maybe two more at the, at the most uh, for Fear the Walking Dead Q&As leading up to this mid-season finale for uh, Season 7. So, without further ado, let's go into your Q&A questions and comments for this Q&A for Fear of the Walking Dead. First one for today comes from Tyler who says that uh, he has a question about the three Walking Dead shows, uh, both The Walking Dead, Fear of the Walking Dead, and World Beyond Characters. Uh, if they ever did a crossover, what characters would you like to see interact? And they can be from any show. So um, what characters from all these shows that maybe never met before that I would like to see interact? Well, uh, damn, that's that's an interesting one. Um, I would really like to see what Daryl thinks of Strand. That That's actually one that I'm very curious because I feel like Daryl would just not like Strand. Um, also, what Negan would think of Strand, I think that would be a pretty interesting one. And in terms of the Fear the Walking Dead characters, I would probably say like, you know, maybe what uh, Morgan would think of Mercer. That'd be an interesting one. Um, and uh, in terms of World Beyond, we'll just get those freaking kids out of there. <laughs> I mean, basically, uh, I don't really care to see what the kids think of the Walking Dead characters honestly i would just like to see fear characters interact with walking dead characters world beyond as you guys know i just want that cast out of the walking dead franchise um which unfortunately is probably never going to happen but i just i just do not like the world beyond cast at all um but uh i will say one thing though the walking dead and fear the walking dead characters interacting yeah i think that would be uh that would be really cool for sure next one comes from zach who says that uh, he wants to see season eight of fear the walking dead potentially being a traveling theme um season so in season eight maybe it being a very big like traveling season um potentially crossing over either with the walking dead season 11 or with the daryl and carol spinoff so uh yeah that is an interesting one honestly this is the thing i know a lot of people have kind of theorized and i know there's been a lot of rumors going around lately that maybe the walking dead uh will have the fear of the walking dead cast in 11c and that's why uh fear of the walking dead is moving to georgia for season eight um i don't think it's impossible not don't get me wrong i don't think it's impossible but the thing is is that why would you do it that that's the thing like what would be the purpose? Um, I just, I don't know. To me, it would be a cheap way out. Uh, but at the same time, to see some of those characters interact, like we just talked about in the previous comment, I mean, maybe it's not impossible. I just I just don't really think Walking Dead should do it. I feel like Walking Dead, uh, if they're going to cross anybody over, it should be Rick Grimes, damn it, not the Fear of the Walking Dead cast. Uh, Fear of the Walking Dead, if, as you guys know, in my opinion, I felt like should have ended with Season 7. Uh, we're going to go with the Season 8, and you know they're going to be filming in Georgia, so we'll see how that kind of goes for them, but... Um, Man, maybe in the Daryl Carroll spinoff, I could see something, but in the main show, I really hope they don't do it. And if they do, bring Rick on, damn it, or don't bring anybody at all. I mean, I don't know. To, to me, bringing the Fear cast to wrap up the main show would just feel very odd. It's like we start things off with the sheriff looking for his family and we end things off with the spinoff series. Uh, characters crossing over, but the lead sheriff is not there. And it's just like, you know, it just wouldn't really make any sense to me. But uh, you never know. Maybe they'll try something. But I think season eight in terms of a traveling theme, um, you know, again, if the characters are moving out of Texas, then yeah, but I just, in terms of them crossing over The Walking Dead, because um, I know I've heard a lot about that, I'm not going to say they're going to cross over Walking Dead, but I mean, again, we'll have to see what uh, what exactly they do. So, uh, and then we got uh, the uh, last one from Gloria, who says that uh, Alexa from The 100 is a lot of what uh, they think uh, Alicia is going to be in Season 7 of Fear. So, a lot of people still going on with the whole, you know, Alicia is a villain type theory. Um... 
I know a lot of people have kind of commented on it, and uh, th this is my opinion on it. It's out of character. I'm sorry, guys. It's out of character. I know some people are going to say, like, oh, well, Alicia is a villain. Like, that, that'd be a cool twist, and, you know, it'd be kind of a cool moment and this and that. But here's my thing about it. If you do that, then you're kind of running into the problem of, okay, but the character makes no sense at that point. You know, at least Alicia, she, you know, does Alicia make questionable decisions? Yes, she does. But here's the one thing I can at least say. She's always in character and she's always, you know, kind of like who she is, you know. Um, if I, you know, watch, you know, all basically any season, Alicia definitely is in character. I will say that. Um, you know, even the weird decisions, I can still say she's in character. Uh, but if she flips on Morgan and she's all of a sudden a, a leader that's a villain and she turns on Morgan, especially meanwhile, Strand's also the villain. It just, it really won't make any sense to me. So let let me know in the comments what do you guys think about Alicia being the potential villain. I I don't think it's a good idea, but definitely want to see where you guys kind of stand on it. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching the video. Write your comments in the comments section below. And of course, guys, if you're new here, click to subscribe and you don't miss my videos. Don't miss my videos for Fear of the Walking Dead. Follow Dance Park Review. So come, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for another video for Fear of the Walking Dead. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. She won't have anything to do with me after this.